the cutest kid in America? Is it Judy LeSight? Or will it be Patty Forkhold? Could it be Michael Baker? Or Vincent Diula? Or will it be your youngster who wins a $15,000 college education on the show that stars America's cutest kids, The Baby Game? And now, here's America's favorite babysitter, Richard Hayes. Thank you. I'm not even a big hit with the panel over there. They're just sitting, no applause or anything. We'd like to welcome you, we'd like to welcome you, we'd like to welcome the folks up there in the balcony. It's the baby game and you will see some more of the entries in our Cutest Kids in America contest at the end of the show. Stay tuned, you just might see your own cute kid up there. Right now, you know how the baby game works. Let's meet the two young couples who didn't applaud me when I came out. Chet, please. Well, here they are, Richard. First meet the Morrises, George and Caroline, who have two daughters, ages four and six and a half months. And they're playing against the Waltons, Gloria and Lloyd, who have one daughter, age four and a half, and a son, two months old. Hey, you got a brand new son over there. I'd like to welcome you all to the baby game. <laughs> and George, now is not the time to applaud. It's passed you by. We're going to test your knowledge as parents, because it's time for round one, and it is romper race time. It's worth ten points to anyone who can pick the winner. So let's watch the champ and two challengers as they give you an idea of their form. Number one, take a look at that little doll. That is a Laureen. She is a mover when she starts to move, and she's a rester when she starts to rest. Number two, that is Billy. And <laughs> notice that left leg. He kind of has a little pushing motion there that propels him right across the finish line. Number three, that is Paul, the current champ defending his title for the third time, and is he thrilled about it? Okay, who is gonna win? Number one, number two, or our current champ. Make your choices, put them in the answer boxes, and we shall return right after this message. Now, the fastest relief known for bronchial asthma attacks can restore free breathing in as little as 15 seconds. It's new Primatine Mists. Used as directed, Primatine Mist instantly delivers medication deep into congested lungs opens breathing passages, relaxes bronchial spasms. So asthma attack is relieved fast. Get new Primatine Mist. Restores free breathing in as little as 15 seconds. It is simple to make a Chef Boyardee pizza. Ooh, ooh. Mix with water and stir with a fork. Spread out the dough with your fingers. Spread the sauce on the dough. Sprinkle with cheese. And now you bake for 20 minutes. It's easy to make a pizza at home that's as good as you've ever eaten, provided you use Chef Boyardee's complete pizza mix. Oh, oh, there's nothing to it. Okay, the panel's answers are locked away. The racers are in place behind the starting gate. The bugle is about to sound. And once more with feeling, they're off. And they're running at Diaper Downs. And look at that. Number two is standing up and fell right down. Look at that enthusiasm. Look at that Tim. Look at that figure. A bigger rather. It's one. It's two. It's the champ. And no one has moved. Number two kind of has an itchy foot. And here comes the champ. The champ is moving on down the rail. Down the rail all by himself. And stopping. Number one and number two have a small romance going. And now it's number one moving out of the box. It's number one stopping now. It's number one staring and it's the champion. The champion is out there all by himself. Here comes number two now. Look at number two start moving down the track. Now number one and number two are kind of talking to each other. Number one is fascinated with number two. What's that? Oh, it's a romance. It is a romance. Number one and number two are going to meet on wedding party. And there is the champ. And across the line. And still the champion. It is Paul. The champ is worth ten points if you have him in the answer box. George, what you say? I had number one. You had number one, and it's no score so far. Caroline. Number two. Number two. Top lock, no score, no to score anything over there. Gloria. Number two. Oh, dear. You want to sit over with George and Caroline over there? Lloyd, it's up to you. I picked the winner. The and you got yourself on the scoreboard. You got yourself ten points. It's the first round, and Gloria and Lloyd are ahead by ten points, and round two is worth ten more points for every correct answer. And here we go. Two pair of kids compete for a prize in a game of ring toss. The ring is a little unusual, and so is the peg. Watch and see what I mean. We have Bo and Jeff. 
cannot cross this line. Do you understand that, Bo? Now you can have three tries, and by the time I come back, if you get this tube around his shoulder... I'll, he'll carry how many turns they have. Only three. And if I come back and it's around his shoulders, you both get a prize. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this is Diana and Taryn. I will give you both a prize if when I come back in the room, I find this tube over your shoulders. It's your job to get it over her shoulders. Yes. You'll have three tries now, only three, and you can't go over the line, okay? There you are. Good luck, have fun. And it looks like they're gonna have fun. Let me recap the rules. The kids must get the ring around their partner in three tries, and the thrower must not step over that line. But Uncle Bobby never said that the human peg couldn't move. So here's your question. How many of the teams will realize that the peg can move and score a ringer? Neither of them, one of them, or both of them. Please put your answers in place while we take time out with this here message. Now you can clean your rug this afternoon and entertain guests tonight. Glory does it. Glory, the new spray foam rug cleaner from Johnson Wax. Just push the button. That's right. Just push the button. With Glory, the can's the applicator. You get instant foam. It's deep cleaning foam like professionals use. Just sponge it in. Glory foams out the dirt fast. See? This rug is cleaner already. Let dry, then vacuum. Glory dries so fast, the rug you clean at two can be bright and beautiful at six. And just one can cleans a big 10 by 14 rug for less than $2. Try new glory. So easy you can clean your rug this afternoon. Entertain guests tonight. Glory, new from Johnson Wax. I don't want to shock you, panel, but we're back on the air. The panel's answers are locked up. The teams are eager to test their athletic skills, so let's not dilly or dally. It's the start of the contest. That can give you a headache if you keep doing that an awful lot. That is an old inner tube tire. It's soft. It's not too heavy. Nope. Now, you notice the peg is not moving forward. They're not trying to do it the easy way. I think she's running out of steam, that little gal, too. Throw it once more. Ooh. The peg is not moving forward. She's not getting a ringer, <laughs> except on herself. <laughs> Try once more. <laughs> Look at that big donut. Oh, she missed altogether, and they never, never, ever did get it. Let's see how the boys do. Whee! That's a whistler, huh? Hey, look, the peg is moving closer. If he would stay there, he, he's, he's showing how much, he stepped back a few steps. Come on, he moved in a little closer, over. <laughs> he did move in close enough. It did drop through. And look at those fellas giggling and laughing. They have done it. The answer is one team did it the easy way. One team is worth 10 points if you have it in the box. Lloyd, what did you say? I said one of them. Hey, you're hitting a, on, on all fours here. You got 20 points. Gloria. I said one of them. And you answer that. You now have 30 points. Oh, yeah. Over we go to you, Caroline. You got to get on the scoreboard. I said one of them. And you sure get on the scoreboard. You have Ben Georgia add to it. I think I said one of them. Let's see. <laughs> I forgot. Yes, you did say one of them, and you have 20 points. And the score is 30 to 20. Ten points separate our teams, and we shall return with the second half of the baby game right after this message. Watch. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't gamble. I don't fool around with sports cars. I'm a family man. But don't worry, I'm human. There it goes. I'm on Sara Lee fresh frozen banana cake. I eat a lot of Sara Lee fresh banana cake, a lot of smooth, satisfying Sara Lee fresh banana cake. A lot of smooth, satisfying, delicious, succulent, Sara Lee fresh banana cake. Mm. Mm. You're 
you're my one vice, Sara Lee. But you're a nice vice. Now, before we go any further, or farther, depending on what part of the country you come from, we would like to tell the folks on the panel about the gift that we have for them just for being with us today. So, Chet, if you will. Right, and George and Lloyd, we have for you the new Hoover electric shoe polisher with two applicators, brushes, polish, and a buffing attachment. It's the perfect gift from Hoover. And for the girls, Carolyn and uh, Gloria, five pair of red ball casual shoes. You'll love the intriguing colors, the fitless fit, the, rather the faultless fit, <laughs> and the cool washable fabrics. They're designed for comfort and style. <laughs> the fitless fit, the sleepless <laughs> nights. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow. There's going to be a whole new guy here. <laughs> okay, enjoy whatever it was that Chet gave you. And it's time for round three. It's worth another ten points for each right answer. Here we go. Six-year-olds may be busy with schoolwork, but they have time to observe the world around them. You want proof? Watch. The kid's eye view of the world. What shoes do they wear? They don't wear nothing on their feet or anything. What do they wear? You mean, like when they go for walks, they wear pointy boots. Sometime. How old do you have to be to become one? Twenty-one. Where do they come from? Villages. They have mustaches, beards, long hair, long nails. Long nails? Why do they have long nails, Rita? Because they don't bite them. <laughs> Sometimes these girls. And what do the girls look like? They have long hair, and sometimes they play a guitar. What sort of a job do they have? Walking around the city. That's all? <laughs> what do they do all day long? Sit and read books. What sort of hair do they have? Long hair. What sort of clothes, Philip? Raggedy. They wear just clothes and sandals, and they wear flowers in their hair. They wear paint on their face, and they grow beards and mustaches, and they they have always kind of uh, go out loving, and they they look like um, a beatnik. How do you get to be one? You just make yourself real ugly and make your hair grow more. <laughs> Where do they come from? The Beatnik clan. Would you like to be one when you grow up? No. Why not? Because, because they never take a bath. <laughs> do you like to take baths? Yeah. Do you know anyone who would like to be one? Yeah. Who? My brother. Okay, please. Now write down what they were discussing and put your answers in the boxes. We'll have the last word on this subject right after this word. Here's Whistle. New spray cleaner that may brighten your world. Whistle one wall and watch how Whistle's ammonia power makes the toughest marks jump right off. Then, Whistle a shiny place and find out Whistle doesn't leave streaks and film. Just shine. You may want to whistle and whistle. Get new Whistle and big Whistle for bucket size jobs. Whistle. Vanish as the angry bathroom bowl clean. Hates tough water stains like these. Look, liquid vanish is extra thick so it sticks. Puts its angry strength right on the stains. Until they're gone. Try liquid vanish, you'll like it. If you can stand the noise. Place and little Rita knows exactly what she was talking about. Uh, right now, she's ready to tell us. Okay, Rita. Oh, Rita. Did you ever see one? Where did you see one? On a commercial. And what was it about? A hippie writing a note. <laughs> <laughs> 
they were talking about a hippie, and what you said was a hippie writing a note. If you have hippie in the box, you got yourself 10 more points. Lloyd, you're shaking your head. I said hippies. You said hippies. Well, you should go like that, up and down. You got yourself 40 points now. Over we go to Gloria. I said hippies. Good for you. You got yourself 50 points now. Caroline. Hippies. Hippie, whippy, dippies. You got yourself 30 points. And George. I said elves. <laughs> Would you believe elves? What were you said? What elves? Elves. Do you know that elves are neat? <laughs> I'm in trouble. And all elves don't have beards. And yes, you are in trouble because you don't get any ten points on that. You have thirty points and you have fifty points, Gloria and Lloyd. But don't panic because the elves may come to your rescue. Because this next round, twenty-five points for each right answer. Round four, and it can win the game. Are you ready? The world of automation has even reached into the baby game bakery, but a human touch is still very necessary. Watch, we have Michael. Okay, Michael, you're gonna be my bakery helper here at the cake factory. You know this machine? This is the three-layer cake machine. As a matter of fact, the machine made this cake right over here a little while ago. See that? Three-layer cake machine. Let me show you how it works. Whenever there's a bell, down comes a layer. Whoa, there it goes, we put it there. There it is. You know what? I'll go down the hall. As a matter of fact, you run the three-layer cake machine for a while, okay? Good luck. This is Adam. Now, let me show you how the three-layer cake machine works. When the bell rings, down comes a layer. Watch this, Adam. There it comes. Sometimes it goes right to the bottom like this. A little whipped cream. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to leave you in charge of the three-layer cake machine. And the third layer is Anthony. Okay, it's all yours. I'm going down the hall. Remember now, you're going to be in charge of the three-layer cake machine. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> that one got stuck halfway down. Well, Uncle Bobby told the kids they were bakery helpers at a three-layer cake machine. Well, that's true. Only if the kids make it so, because the bell will keep ringing and layers will keep coming down the chute. The question for 25 points is this. How many of the kids will make a cake with only three layers? Stop, then start another cake. Will it be one of them, two of them, or all three of them? Please put your answers in place as quickly as possible. How many of the kids will make cakes with only three layers? One of them, two of them, or all three of them? A right answer in this round is worth 25 points. Lloyd, don't get lost in there. Everybody all set? Good. The answers are in the answer boxes, and I can smell those cakes from here, so we'd better hurry back to the bakery before the cake gets stale. Watch carefully now, because you will find the fellas in action. They've got to make three-layer cakes. How many of them will make three-layer cakes? What? That is Michael, and he's got a two-layer cake going for him so far. There's the bell. And he now has a three-layer cake. Let's see what he will do. Start another cake. There's the bell. And he, he didn't even hesitate. He pushes the cake on the side. And Michael makes a three-layer cake and starts a new one. This is Anthony. He's got two layers going so far. Two layers and a finger. What's he put on? Oh, what a delicious cake that is. Two layers, he's got the third layer. No, he's got, that's a three-layer cake, and he's starting a new one. And this is Adam. Down comes the layer. <laughs> Never a waste. He's got a two-and-a-half-layer cake going there. I'd be the guy that bought that in a bake shop, I tell you. He's got two-layer cake. Here comes a third layer now. And he puts that on hold. Okay, now let's see what he will do. Here comes another layer. Will he start a new cake? No, nope, he's going to make a four-layer cake out of it. A little lopsided, but a four-layer cake. Another layer comes down. Will he start now? It's a five-layer cake that he is going for. Forcing it down and filling it up. And let me tell you that... The last we saw him, he was building a 17-layer cake. The answer we're looking for, two of them made a three-layer cake, and we shall find out who today's winners are right after this word.
30 rings. You try soaking them out and scrubbing them out, and you can still get... Ring around the collar! Now try whisk. Whisk sinks right into the dirt, starts to clean before you start to wash, gets even permanent press fabrics beautifully clean. You won't hear ring around the collar with whisk. Mmm, gee, you smell great. Ooh, and your skin feels, uh, it's, uh, it's getting late. Uh, I'd better go. Tough luck, dear, but just smelling good isn't good enough. Your deodorant bar should be phase three, the only deodorant bar you can get with cream in it to make your skin feel soft and smooth. Now let's see the difference phase three makes. Mmm, you smell great and your skin is so soft and smooth. It's getting late, you'd better go. See what a difference phase three makes? Okay, the answers are locked away. It's 50 to 30 in favor of Gloria and Lloyd. The answer worth 25 points, two of them. Two of them, and George, what did you say? I said two of them. And you got yourself 25 more points, and I have 55. You are in the lead. Caroline. My kids don't bake. I only said one. You said one. I can't help it about that. You're still in the lead by five points. Let's see if it holds up. Gloria. I said two of them. You said two of them, and you got yourself 25 more points. You are the winner. Gloria and Lloyd, you have got it. You are the winners of today's exciting prize package. And here's Jet Gould to tell you what you won. You've just won the Tell City Early American Living Room, six pieces handsomely fashioned of maple from the Young Republic collection of the Tell City Chair Company. And these decorated design clocks for every occasion, a battery-operated wall clock, an attractive twin face alarm, and a travel alarm, yours from the West Clocks Division of General Time. And the Eureka Automatic Vacuum Cleaner, featuring an on-off toe switch, a three-position handle, and all-metal construction. You'll love the low silhouette design from the Eureka Williams Company. And the whole family will enjoy this assortment of Richardson's after-dinner mints, party patties, jellies, and butter mints, all from the Thomas D. Richardson Company. Now, something for the kids. We have the World Book Encyclopedia. They'll be delighted by the thousands of illustrations and diagrams. World Book is the foundation for every home library. That's today's prize package. It's worth over $800, and it's all yours from the baby game. There you go. Congratulations to you, Gloria and Lloyd, and I do hope that you enjoy all those gifts. George and Caroline, a terrific contest right down to the very end, and I hope you enjoyed yourself here today. Had a good time with all four of you, and I want to tell you that there have been literally hundreds of thousands of entries in our Cutest Kids in America contest. The judges are looking over the entries, trying to select the $15,000 winner. Right now, here's Chet Gould with some more of the entries. Chet. Well, this is Michael Weber from St. Petersburg, Florida. And we have Chris Fabrick from Crete, Illinois. That's little Leslie Bauer from Southold, New York. And I'm me from Brooklyn, New York. And don't forget about those five runners-up who will win a 1968 Pontiac station wagon. You will enjoy wide tracking. That's the great American sport. This 1968 Pontiac combines beauty and power and thrilling performance. And be sure to watch every day because you may see your child's picture right up there. I'm Richard Hayes, and I'm going to be here, and the kids will be here. Make it a point to be out there. Same time, same station. We'll be looking for you. Remember the name. It's The Baby Game. Thank you, and bye-bye. <laughs>